Hi, in this video I will show you how to use Jungle Scout. This is a complete overview of Jungle Scout from A to Z. After watching this video, you will know precisely how Jungle Scout works, how all its features work and, in general, whether you need it for your Amazon business or your future Amazon business or not. I will try to sort everything step by step and show it. If you will have any questions, ask in the comments and I will gladly answer you. Also, I want to say that there will be time codes in the description of this video. That is, if you are looking for something specific, for example, how the Chrome extension for Jungle Scout works, or how the search for a product for Jungle Scout work, everything will be in the description of the video. There will be a time code. Just look at the right time, and you will also find out precisely what minute in this video is what you're interested in. But I still advise you to watch the video entirely until the end. And there will also be discounts in the description of this video. There will be discounts for 1 month, for 3 months, for 9 months and an annual discount for you in the description. If you use my links to buy Jungle Scout, I will get part of the deal from Jungle Scout. It won't cost you more money, but this way, you can support my content here on YouTube. And I'm very grateful to you for that. My name is Vova, I have been trading on Amazon since 2016, and here I share information for Amazon sellers. I started recording videos this year for Russian-speaking guys. I also have a channel in English. There are more than 200 different videos about trading on Amazon. I have been sharing information for over two years. I will be glad if you subscribe too. Click on the bell, put a like to this video, and let's go. By the way, for these discounters, there will be this information. There will be a 50% discount for the first month, as I said. Here is a three-month annual. There are still different ones here, nine months, etc. So click and see for those who need discounts, and there will also be a pricing page. Pricing is what is included in the plan. Today I will work with the suit plan and sort of go through it. But here you can see precisely what is included. Although, if you watch the whole video, you'll understand it anyway. One more thing. I will say that, at the moment, I use more Helium 10. This is also a tool for Amazon. I have a full review of the Helium 10. You can watch it too, because... There is often such a question about what is better, what suits me. I advise you to watch at this review and there you will decide for yourself what is best. Also, I will leave this review at the end of this video. Let's get started. I will start from the top down. We will go through all the parts, then we will also go through the Chrome extension at the end of this video. Let's start with the toolbox. The first is Sales Estimator. What is a Sales Estimator? This tool allows you to find out how many sales a product makes per month on Amazon and how it works. For example, you can choose Marketplace. Jungle Scout supports America, Canada, Mexico, Germany, Spain, France, India, Italy, Great Britain, and Japan. You can see any product and how many sales it makes a month in any category on Amazon in these markets. How is this done? First, choose a category. For example, initially you will have to find a product on Amazon, for example, a kitchen knife. Let's take this, Imarco. Now we have found a product on Amazon. We want to understand how many sales he makes per month in general. What is it like in general? Now how to understand it? And we go down. There is a part called product information. And here we can find the product category. And it's BSR, best seller rank. We will need these two things to understand how many sales it makes. And accordingly, the market we sell to is Amazon.com at the moment. You can see it here. You will need to specify the category and the best seller rank. What is the best seller rank? Imagine that there are different products in the kitchen and dining category on Amazon. There are millions of other products in this category and the product rank. It starts from the first to the final product. Maybe there are 1 million 300,000, for example. And this product is number 919 in the kitchen and dining category. That is BSR 919. And also its category is kitchen and dining. What are we doing next? We're coming here, select the desired category. Select kitchen and dining here and write it BSR 919. And click on calculate sales. And Jungle Scout calculates for us, for example, that this product makes 4,800 sales per month. We can get an approximate number of sales just because we know the category and its BSR. Now I will say that you don't even need to buy Jungle Scout for this. 
Amazon Sales Estimator from Jungle Scout is also available on their website for free. There will also be a link for those who want to play around and watch. This is very interesting because you can walk around Amazon, look for different products and see how many sales they make per month. Also, when we talk about the Chrome extension, it will be much easier for us to do it. This tool is free. To do this, you do not need a Chrome extension or an add-on to Jungle Scout. So I advise you to play with it. Next, we have Listing Grader. What is Listing Grader? A Listing Grader can evaluate any listing on Amazon, but very superficially, and say whether it has a good rating or not. Let's try to play with this too. Let's take this knife. This is the same knife from Emarco. Copy a sin. What is a sin? A sin is a specific number given to each product on Amazon, and it can also be found here, in product information or in the URL. From above, there will be amazon.com slash product name slash dp slash asin. This is the asin. Copy this thing, or you can also go to the information again and copy it here. Usually it turns out to be 10 characters. We return to Jungle Scout and put it here, in the listing grader. Now it will calculate and evaluate this product. Based on this assessment, we can understand how optimized the listing is at an elementary level. It doesn't give us information about good keyword optimization or whether they are chosen well. Good photos or not? No. But what does it say here? It says here that the listing needs improvement. And why? Because here are the details. What details are here? Product title is the title of the product. This is the headline on Amazon. And it says that the title should be between 100 and 200 characters. This product has 134. It fits what Jungle Scout advises. But some products have 60 characters in the title and have great sales. They could convey what they wanted, ideally. Insert the right keywords and title and use only 70 characters. But usually you can use all 200 to insert the necessary keys and show what you want. If the title of the product is, for example, Big Knife, Sharp Knife, kitchen knife, or knives. All this is a bad title. For example, because it will be hard to read and it doesn't cause any emotions. It doesn't say much about the product. For instance, it has pro kitchen knife and is strongly scored. Chef's knives, high carbon German stainless steel, sharp, pairing knife with ergonomic handle. It says it is such a knife, but uh, with a convenient handle. At least at the end, it is described that there is some handle, not just a knife, a knife, knife, knife. Sometimes you can describe a title differently. Let's say a knife for easy cuts of your favorite food. We can understand what our potential customer wants and describe it in the product title. When looking for products, a person sees the number of reviews, the title, and the picture. The picture should be juicy, of course, but also a title. If the title is catchy, it will be exciting for a person to click. Let's go back to listing. 134 is fine. Next. Product features. This is what is called bullet points on Amazon. This part of the product is under the title. There are reviews, a category, and this part about this item. These are bullets. And what does Jungle Scout tell us? This product has five bullet points, and it advises having at least five. There are six, maybe even more in some categories, but in most categories I've seen on Amazon, it's five bullets. Each bullet should be from 100 to 200 characters for each, about 500, from 500 to 1,000. Why is it said so? They say that if it is under 1,000 characters, everything that will be written here, all the keys will be indexed. Now you may be asking yourself, what is indexed? Indexed means these keys will be shown in the search results. For example, there is a key quality stainless steel. When someone writes quality stainless steel in the search, this product will appear in the search results. Not the fact that on the first page, but somewhere it will appear. Somewhere this combination of words will find this product. If someone writes, for example, high carbon stainless steel knife and the product is indexed, it will appear in the search results.
Sometimes, when there is too much reading here, usually it is more than 1000 characters, but sometimes even more than 1000 can be indexed. So need to check. It just won't be visible, it will be shown here in bullets, for example, it will be written ergonomic pack a handle as here. But when a person searches for it on Amazon, he will not find this product, not on any page. It just won't be appeared in search because it's not indexed. I hope this is understandable, if not, then write questions. And here, as you can see, it has 1,393 characters, more than Jungle Scout advises. Perhaps someone has all these bullets indexed, and these 1,393 characters work well for him. Again, this is a very superficial listing grader. In this product, well, everything is very unclear, just a lot of the text, that's it. Of course, no one reads these uh, bullets although it depends on the category. In the category of kitchens, knives. But here we can understand everything from the pictures. There are also good videos. A client may read the first bullet. Therefore, I would advise you to write about what your client is most concerned about or interested in your products in the first bullet, because if he reads something, it is often the first bullet. And you can make it so that all bullets are read so that the first one paces into the second, the second into the third, and everything is harmonious. Many things are unclear here. Sometimes you can use different brackets to show people somehow other things. He has scattered everything, but he still has 7000 reviews and cool photos. Ordinary photos and everything works out for him. There are many reviews. He has been selling for a long time and knows how to catch up with reviews. The following is a description. Jungle Scout advises descriptions from 1000 to 2000 characters. He has 3940. I'll explain what this is. There are no photos in the usual description on Amazon. This is a special description. Now, this special description is called A plus content or ABC, enhanced brand content. For registered brands on Amazon, you can insert different pictures here and link with other products. For example, he has a meat knife and a big cleaver. And there are some sets. You can click on them. There are still photos and all these keywords that are here. 3940 is written here. If you copy all this, you get 3940. Of course, this is more than 2000, but Jungle Scout is talking about the usual description here. There are no pictures in the standard description, and it looks like this. And there, Jungle Scout also advises from 1000 to 2000 characters. Yes, 2000 is the maximum that can be inserted into a regular description. And use all 2000 if it is convenient for you. If you want to describe a product in the best selling form for your client, then if you have 1500 characters, use 1500. If 2000, then 2000, maximum 2000. But here he took into account everything written here, so he indicated 3940, showing that the listing is not good. At first glance, everything is fine. Photos, description. It can, of course, be better, but it's not that bad. Next, product images. These are the photos on the listing. Jungle Scout advises a minimum of seven photos. This product has eight photos and high res photos. We can look at the photos from above. Seven or six photos plus a video will be displayed on a PC. If we click on the product, we have another eighth photo, some kind of lifestyle photo. He decided not to pull it on the listing. Maybe it didn't help him to sell. Perhaps men buy more from him, for example. I imagine, but he has girls in his photos, which might negatively affect sales. Maybe he decided to remove it from here to here. Check a week, a week here, a week there. There was a conversion rate of 20%, and he removed the girls and became 25, perhaps. Or maybe on the contrary, he's playing with it now. And perhaps the picture does better. We need to test a lot. Still, there are eight pictures here. Jungle Scout says, okay, this is a listing grader. It's a very basic thing. It doesn't say how well everything is arranged. It doesn't say how good the photos are. To understand at a basic level whether the listing is good or not. Let's move on. Now it will be more interesting. This is a product search. If someone else is here, I want to ask you to put a like to this video to support it in the algorithm. To push it. Or put a dislike if it's not interesting. And write why it's not interesting, what can be improved.
The next one is product research. This is the product database. Here we can search for products for sale on Amazon. How is this done? We can choose marketplace. We have from America to Japan, for example, the same marketplaces we discussed in the sales estimator at the beginning of the video. And what kind of categories do we have? How does it work? Jungle Scout has a vast database of products that they pump out from Amazon. Millions, millions and millions of products in different categories. We can use different criteria to get different products from this database and substitute criteria for what we are interested in and get search results for these products. Let's play with this tool and I'll show you what it is. Let's take the products in Home and Kitchen, in Kitchen and Dining, select a category, Baby, Automotive, and for example in Pay Shalon and Garden, Sports and Outdoors, Office Products. We have selected several categories that are interesting to us. If you have any skills or knowledge in a specific category, if you are interested in selling sports-related things, you're a car expert and in general the automotive category, or you understand the baby category, it's cool. This can give you an advantage. You will have more head start on what you like and are interested in. You understand more about these products. But even without this, you can find good products that you can learn and start selling. For example, my first product was kitchen scissors. And I don't even know how to cook, to be honest. But still, when we started, the product had good numbers and we decided to go into it. The first small investment. I didn't know anything about scissors at all. I wasn't really interested in it, but I liked selling them. What do we do next? Selected categories. Choose product tier. Large products or small ones. Oversize is a big products, and it will be expensive to send them to Amazon. It will be costly to transport them by sea by plane. Therefore, I recommended standard products to start with. Of course, there may be less competition in oversized ones, because it's harder to work with them and more money is needed. But sellers who want to start as standard will be better. Seller type is the type of seller. There is Amazon, Amazon sells its own products, or Amazon sells the products of guys who work directly with Amazon. There are different vendor programs. For Navi sellers, this is not relevant. You can choose FBA. These are Amazon services, fulfillment by Amazon. When we send products to Amazon, Amazon sends these products to our customers and charges money for them. Or FBM. FBM is when we sell our products on Amazon, but send them from our home or our warehouse. Third-party warehouse. The warehouse receives a notification that something was bought on Amazon and send this product to someone at some address. But I use FBA. It will just show the products that we will find under home they are sold. You can choose something here, you can remove it. You can only search for FBA and FBM, so we don't see products from Amazon. The next is filters. What are filters? These are also another filters to filter products. For example, from all these categories, in these sizes, from these sellers, we will see products. If you click on search, the results for products will appear. Many products will be displayed. 2,300,000 products were displayed. All products in these categories appeared under these criteria. Next, we can add even more criteria, for example, price. We can choose products that cost a minimum of $27 and a maximum of $40. There is such an option. We can also choose products based on the number of reviews. Net profit. Now I'll tell you how it works. How can you even understand how the program knows the net profit from product sales? It calculates what Amazon takes from each sale and leaves a net profit. But does not include the cost of the product. For example, if the product costs $20, it is in the standard category. Amazon takes, for example, $5 for accepting it and sending it away. For the FBA service, plus 15% that you're trade on Amazon. If there is from 10 and 15%, it is one $5, then from 20 it will be $3. And then we will have 
$8 to collect for each sale, just for what we sell on Amazon. The product is sold for $20. The net will be $12. But the price of the product is not counted here. If your product costs another $3, then take that away too. And you get $9 net before advertising and some of your other investments. This is net. You can also search by this criterion. Minimum rating. This is the minimum rating of the product, for example, from 1 to 5. You have a rating on Amazon. You may have so many reviews there. Minimum, maximum. Minimum 20 reviews, maximum 45. This is based on the number of reviews on the products and the rating of products. For example, it is interesting to look for products with a small number of reviews that do not have a super good rating but still sell well. We can set the number of sales here. For example, 500 per month. But they will still make 500 sales. What does it mean? We can improve something in this product because it doesn't have a good rating. Some are made of plastic in some category. And there is an option to make them out of iron. So that it breaks less. Stainless steel, for example. This way we will improve the product and our ratings will be better than the competitors. And the competitors are already selling well. But we will still sell better because we will improve the product. Here is such an option. There is another rank here. This is the best seller rank we were talking about. The best seller rank changes between categories. 1000 best seller rank in baby will be equal to, for example, 40 sales. 1000 in home and kitchen will be equal to, for example, 2000 sales per month. It varies from category to category so that you can play with that too. Minimum weight, maximum weight of the product. For example, you can search for light products in advance and set the maximum weight. It counts here in LBS. The maximum is 0.1 or 0.01. Then you will get very light products to save in advance. You think, I don't want to pay a lot for transportation, but you put low weight here. Minimum number, maximum number of sellers on the listing. For example, you want to see products where a maximum of two sellers are trading on the listing. What does it mean? On Amazon, if you sell using the private label system, that's what I do. From above, there will be a video in the description called How to start trading on Amazon using the private label system. You can watch it. I will leave it in the description too. There I talk about the whole system in brief. For 25 minutes, I describe how to trade using the private label system in general. I have only traded on this system and never traded on the arbitrage or dropship system. So I only know this system. And how does this relate to the number of sellers? For example, here we have set 2. This is the maximum number of sellers on the listing. On one listing, for example, as we see here in Imarco, there is such a graph as sold by. Who sell this product? Now there are 6 people here who sell this product. People who sell identical products from different places. Super B Mall, My Sun Town, West Aware, Imarco Kitchen. There is a primary seller of this product, Imarco Kitchen. I see other people here who are also selling it. What does this mean? I see because these two are both on USA and 40 company, they have just launched here, which means they just launched on Amazon. This is a new store. When the store is not new, we usually see many ratings. And what does it even mean? Why are so many sellers selling the same product when there is a top seller? Hijackers are people who connect to the listing on Amazon and can compete with the primary seller on Amazon. Amazon's rules state that if you have the same product, not a fake of this knife, you can take it like any person. You can, say in the world, even who has the right to trade on Amazon, sell this product on the same listing. You connect to this listing and you will appear here as another of the sellers. And then there is a chance that Amazon will choose you in the buy box. What is buy box? Whoever has a buy box gets a buy now button. Or add to cart, see? Sold by Marco Kitchen. If another person had a buy box, for example, this Bolton USA, then it would be written ship from Amazon, sold by Bolton USA. Usually, there will be only one seller here. And why am I saying this? If you set the number of sellers in Jungle Scout to a maximum of one, we will usually not see listings where many people sell some product. Sometimes, 
There are products that 20 people sell. But it's all illegal there. There is not hijackers. I also wanted to say that a hijacker is someone who sells a product on the same listing. But he usually sells a fake. For example, he comes with a fake product and starts selling this knife. Not the same as this here. A similar knife, in a similar box without a logo. It just connects. You can do that, but some people do this, and it becomes less and less possible over time, but sometimes it happens. But there are other listings, for example, some toilet paper from some company, clear. And this paper allows other people to buy from themselves and resell this product. And on Amazon, many people resell it on the same listing. And then it's a different sales model. So why am I saying this? The maximum number of sellers can be set to two or one, so as not to see products where other models are traded, for example, by arbitrage or dropship. In arbitrage, many people usually compete on the same listing. I hope this is clear. Therefore, here you can set the number of sellers in advance. Sometimes the Marco Kitchen seller will sell as FBA. That is, he will send it through Amazon. His product is on Amazon, Amazon is sending it. But sometimes, there will be his suggestion. He will also be connected to this listing, but through his warehouse. You can also order from the warehouse. Sometimes they do this when the stock on Amazon ends, when we have products on Amazon. Still we run out of stock and the product's availability on Amazon ends. We connect our products from a nearby warehouse, where we also have the same product, and will not be able to go to out of stock. We will don't lose our positions, we will continue to sell or our listing will close and we will not be seen. When the product runs out on Amazon or in our warehouses near Amazon, we are not on Amazon, respectively, the product is not visible and it begins to fall in ranks. If it is in the third place by the key kitchen knife, it will fall now that it is not visible. This is the number of sellers. I hope this is clear. Next, this is the minimum and maximum revenue. This is how much this product makes in circulation per month. For example, a minimum of $12,000 and a maximum of twenty-four. dollars if we set just a revenue per month. And a minimum of LQS. What is LQS? This is the listing quality score. This is how well this listing is built. This is, for example, what we have seen before about listings. The better it will be 10, the worse it will be 1. And if we want to see listings that have a listing quality score of maximum of 7 or 3, but which still sell well, then we will see them. The idea is to look for products that are not the best built, but the best listings that still sell well, to improve the whole thing there and sell. There is also a date first available. This is when a product appears in stock. And you can choose, for example, a product that appeared in 2018, but still has a maximum of 45 reviews and sells for $15,000 a month. What does it mean? Slowly gaining reviews. Sales are going well, and if there are many sellers in this niche who are bad at getting reviews, you can go in with good tactics for getting reviews and sell better. This is the date first available. You can choose a date. Include keywords or exclude keywords. If we, for example, insert keywords that we're interested in, for example, if we know that we want to look for strollers in the baby category, Yes, we're interested. We understand that this market is strong, and we want to see different strollers in different price ranges, for example. Strollers there are from 20 and up to $250, for example. We will insert the stroller key here and see the stroller. Of course, sports and outdoors will most likely not give us a stroller, although there may be sports strollers. Maybe they're a stroller race or something. Yes, there are strange, different products on Amazon and in general worldwide. Again, if you have some keyword knowledge or are looking for specific product sets, you want sets or want to see a gift, just the word gift to be in the title, for example, then you will see all the gift products in these categories. Not all gift cards, but where the word gift will be shown. You can also exclude keywords to do. What does it mean? Remove some keys. For example, if there was a Valentine's Day recently, you can remove the Valentine's key. Just write Valentine's but here we can insert several keys, and we will not see the products associated with this key. It will just disappear. You can also remove top brands if you click on it. 
and unavailable. Unavailable are products that are not available, or for some reason they're unavailable. What is unavailable? Sometimes there will be in stock, and sometimes will be unavailable. There will be no movement on the listing. It excludes these products. You can click search, and Jungle Scout will give us... Now Jungle Scout has not given us anything. I gave him heavy criteria, and he couldn't find anything. Let's clean up a couple of things. Let's remove this quality score listing. Let's do a search. Okay, now we have found 9 products. I found only 9 different products in these categories. What's it? Is that a knife? But no, it's a t-shirt. Some air purifier in such a strange package. Mole repeller. This is all that has been found according to these criteria, which I have set here. And now, what do we see below here? We can look at this product, we can see a photo of this product, its title, its ASIN on Amazon, who sells it. This is Billy to Ami, some salesman. You can watch it on Amazon, click here, and it will transfer us to Amazon. And you can go back to Jungle Scout. Its category is indicated here, how many or what variations it has. There are sizes, there are sizes and colors. This product has no variations. Then what kind of revenue does it make per month? And how many sales does he make per month? Its price, its net price. As I said before, its price is $19.52. If you click here, we will get net profit. What is indicated here? This is the FBA profit calculator, the internal profitability calculator Jungle Scout. What do we see here? We see the weight of the product, its dimensions, and its size category. How much does it cost? $31.99. Here we can change the price. It is already inserted in advance, but it can be changed here. He writes to us that $7.76 are taken by Amazon from each sale, the fulfillment fee, and $4.80 takes away from each sale. This is the referral fee. This is usually 15% of the price. If the product sells for $31.99, then about 15% will be $4.80. It can be different in different categories, and the variable closing fee is another fee that Amazon can pick up. A variable is usually found in categories such as video games, music, there can still be a dollar and a half, but usually there will be zero. And here it says total fee, 12.47, net $19. At this price of $31, we get $19 net from the sale. But this is before we see that the product costs zero. If this product costs, for example, $6 with the purchase and with transportation, we will click Calculate Profit and there will be a profit of $13 from each sale. Before advertising, before any other cost for a photo, for a worker who does something for you, and the return on investment will be 225%. In this situation, we get the following values. This is a quick option to see the profitability of the product. For example, we can go to Alibaba to look for products, type the air purifier, find how much it costs, and estimate how much it costs to transfer it to America. For example, you will get $8. Well, $11 will be from each sale. This is a profit. Also further, there is a fee breakdown. This will show just what kind of fees there are. For example, the same thing was included here. 7.67 for the FBA fulfillment fee and the referral 480 for what we sell on Amazon. Just for what we sell on the platform. The next one is the best seller rank of this product in its category. Reviews and a listing quality score. This is the quality of the listing. We have 7 here. The higher, the better the listing, the lower, the worse. And here we can choose all these columns, that is, what we want to see. For example, we don't want to see anything. I've cleaned everything up now. Or do we only want to see reviews, the rank, and the product's weight? He will only give us some specific things. Let's get everything back now. And there are several products pages here. You can add a product to the tracker. You can follow it if you want. We can add, for example, this electronic blanket to the tracker, for example. Name the blanket product group. And that's all. Now he is in this product group. You can also make a refresh. This will refresh the product. If we do this with a few minutes difference, then most likely there will be the same numbers. 
So, such a way we can search for products. There are many ways to search, for example. We could take it, if we like these filters, we can make a save filter and then load these filters. If we want to search for a product according to some specific scheme we like, we save it and it can be loaded. That was the database. So you can search for products through Jungle Scout and there are many different things. You can play with these parameters. I explained them to you. I imagine what I explained something, for example, to think so, well, I only want Sly products, come on, and I'll clean everything up here, for example. Yes, I will do so and leave only products that weight a maximum of 0.01 LBS. They have a maximum of 50 reviews and they have at least 500 sales per month. And in all categories, for example, I'll click search and he will make some output. He found 259 products. I have very small products here. I found some masks, some rings, bracelets and pants. I can already see this in advance because these are light products. Such a way you can search for products. Don't want to search like that? Good. You can search for products by the maximum rating 3 or even 2.7, for example, but they make at least 1000 sales per month. Play with this so you can find different products. If this is interesting to you, then put a like to this video. If it helps and gives you something, I will be glad if you support me. It was a product database. Let's move on. Product Tracker. What is a product tracker? These are the same products that we found and we can track them. What can we track? We can see the product in this group. You can add several products. Here we will have an average price, an average BSR, average daily sales, and average revenue. For some reason, it doesn't give us any results. Sometimes it happens. Maybe we need to make refresh. I'll try to refresh now. Sometimes, for some reason, it may not give out something. See? Here, for some reason, this blanket doesn't appear. For some reason, he can't count our group. The product is not in stock at the moment, see? It says, in stock on February 26. It is not available now. But it will be available on February 26. So Jungle Scout cannot read some things there. Here we will keep an eye on the products that we have. You can view 6 month statistics only with the large professional plan, 3 months with a suit plan and monthly product statistics. Why is this being done? You can track the products that we found. I advise you to keep an eye on any product for at least a couple of weeks to understand what is happening. Whether it works well, whether it works poorly, give it a time. Take a few products from the category. Take the top sellers, take the average and keep an eye on them. Watch where they go, down or up. This is a convenient place to check products. You can also download it in CSV. If it is more convenient for you to work with products in Excel, you can also download it and send someone. That was Product Tracker. The next one is Opportunity Finder. It looks like a product database. There are roughly the same categories here, but what is happening here? Here we are searching a little bit differently. We are not searching for a specific product as we found a blanket. And we are searching for a product category, the keyword. Let me show you. For example, let's select a few categories here. Sports and outdoors, tools and home improvement. What do we see here? There are filters on the right side. What filters are there? Average monthly units sold. How many units were sold on average per month? These products have at least 800 sales in these categories, for example. Average monthly price, for example, a minimum of 22. Monthly search volume. We will see how many searches per month this keyword has. How many searches are done per month related to this keyword? Let's specify 8000 minimum. Search volume trend. How has this search trend been going over the last 30 and 90 days? Does it go down in percentages, for example, a minimum of 10% of trend goes up, or a maximum of 10 or a minimum of 50? That is, we don't want to see products that have grown super much. We don't want to see some super trending product because maybe we're not interested in it. We want more stable products. We will specify a maximum of 1%. It's a volume trend. The next one is niche score. This parameter shows how many points Jungle Scout gives to this niche. From 1 to 10. 
For example, 10 is a great chance to sell in this niche. 1 is not the best. Have a niche. You can initially take good niches. 10 minimum to put. Again, this is done by a robot and doesn't take everything into account. But often, when you see the niche score 10, if you see it at all, there may be a good product. This is a calculation based on competition, according to different criteria, and the higher the better. Let's make a minimum of 5, for example. Competition means how strong our competitiveness is. Let's do it from low to medium. It's all done by a robot. If sometimes it says very high competition, it may still be a good product, but let's make an average one here. And seasonality, very high, very low. Let's do a very low, medium. Include exclude keywords, let's leave it empty. And click exclude top brands, Nike and Apple, for example. We don't want to see it. Let's click search, and let me show you what happens. We found 48 different keywords, for example, Pete Vipers. I don't even know what Pete Vipers is. Maybe it's some keyword or it's a brand name. You can look at Amazon, for example, Pete Vipers. I got it, Pete Vipers sunglasses, yes, it's brand. Sometimes brands will appear here, but I advise you to look for keywords. For example, high power laser pointer. It's not a brand. This is some laser that points somewhere. This is the keyword. Here he does not issue a product, but a keyword, and may different keywords fall under our criteria. For example, weighted hula hoops for adults. These are hula hoops that girls or men twist and pump up, I don't know, their muscles, for example. And that's a big keyword. We see weighted hula hoop. This is a hula hoop with a weighting. What does it mean? Again, this is not a product. This is the keyword. We enter some niches that Jungle Scout gives us. And there are many different niches here. But what else we will see inside here? We will see the category in which it is located. You can click search on Amazon, how many units were sold per month. The listings in this category have 5,800 sales, the average selling price and the number of searches per month. 30-day trend. How much has this product trend risen in the last 30 days? For example, it has been increased by 5% here. And for 90 days, it rose by 16%. Competition very low. Niche score 9 means a good chance to sell. This is a big category. There are many different toys here. And again, don't forget, this is just an algorithm. Here is what's interesting. Hula hoops for adults weight loss has risen a lot. Perhaps because of the pandemic. People have started to get fatter, and the demand for this product has grown significantly. More people are looking for this product and want these hula hoops. And Pete Viper sunglasses. This is a brand. Pay attention to the percent of searches. What else can we see? You can get monthly information if you click weighted hula hoops. For example, how the sales of these keywords have been going for two years. For example, 400 sales were here, 229, 511. We're looking at 2019. We see that the trend is not dying, and it's fantastic. According to this graph, you can understand what is happening with the trend and where it is going. Sometimes it will go down, sometimes it will go up, and sometimes it will go steadily. In summer, sales rise. We see this in 2020. You can see statistics for a year, for two years. What do we see next year? Average price, for a specific time. I do not know why it shows only from October to September. Perhaps two years is only in Jungle Scout's professional plan. The bottom line is that the price here is about the same. It doesn't fall, it even rises a little. This is good because if you see that the graphs are going down, the niche is getting cheaper and cheaper and competition is becoming more and more. This is not good. Search volume is how many people are searching for products. For example, in weighted hula hoops for adults, we see that a few people were searching for it. And here, boom, explosion. And it's not so good because we see that before there were low searches. 
Perhaps this trend will pass, maybe the whole TikTok is buzzing with these products now. Then it will fall, which shows that it is not very good. I don't like to see this when there is some jump and at other times there was no jump. Here we see seasonality. It says very low. The indicators didn't change much during the year. There was a rise because of the pandemic. Now it jumped up a lot. Again, I don't know why. Perhaps in winter they start to twist this hula hoops more. And the top products in this category can be viewed. Just see these top products. How many sales they make per month, revenue, prices, the number of reviews, when the product appeared and so on. You can click and see this product on Amazon. And so, you can search for products through the Opportunity Finder. The search is not for a product, but for an opportunity to sell products through some keywords. And again, approximately, we indicate the price of the product and the number of searches per month, and so on. And that's all. If we liked some filter, we can save it and load it. Next, we'll look at the Jungle Scout extension for the Chrome browser. And there, we will understand more deeply what we see in the product. We'll talk about it. There is also an extension for searching, but we will do this at the end of this lesson. We have reviewed product search and research. Then there is the supplier search. You can search through the products, that is, we type the name of the product, for example, the same kitchen knife. For example, kitchen knife, stainless steel. Click in search. And Jungle Scouts will give us different suppliers and their top customers. The supplier has a top customer. Also, what products do they make? What they work with? Here with metal, 30%. They also produce machinery products. They're even clothes from this supplier. And in general, he has 98 customers since 2014 and 369 shipments. These shipments and these customers are all that count only for the American market. Only to the American market because the statistics are pulled up from different places with free access. You can pull it out from there. There are even more shipments that they make to some other places. You can also look here by country. For example, you can look specifically from China if you are interested. Or you, for example, are a specialist in trade with India. For instance, India. You will click on India and search for this product in India. Or do you know that uh, there are some things there? Shawls, it is better to lead from India, for example. Kashmir, wool, and threads from Kashmir and India. You will know that it is better to work with India, and Jungle Scout will show you these products. Again, this is my point of view. You can search on Alibaba or 1688.com, or even through a person in China who can help you find the product. But Jungle Scout helps you too. You can also see how many shipments were sent to America, this supplier, and you can find his contacts. For example, this is Damco India Private Limited. It is located in KL, it is Kerala, in my opinion, and it is in the south of India. We can find this via Google. Click search for contact info. It redirects you to Google. It usually puts the contact key and the name of the supplier. And it can be found. We have Damco India Private Limited. He generally found it in Telangana. This is such a state. Or Maharashtra is here. You can search for suppliers like this by keyword. You can also search for suppliers by company. If you know that some company, for example, let's take the company Marco or some Farberware. It's a big company. 
we type firmware here, click in search, and it is doesn't find us firmware. Sometimes it won't find because sometimes firmware is uh, registered under another company. Sometimes it gives us a hint. Firmware license company LLC. And here we see the company and the suppliers who work for it already at his prompt. That is here Farberware Licensing Company. Here we see seven licensing company, KVS, and server licensing. I don't see Farberware here. Sometimes what else Jungle Scout advises? There is such an excellent article here. You can click and see. Here he will explain how you can find a supplier in this database whose name doesn't match his real name. For example, let's take Farberware. Jungle Scout advises us to go to the listing first and see where the product comes from. We see Farberware, here in general from Amazon. It's hard to find here, but sometimes it will be written here. For example, this product is Amex and it is generally sold by ZoomGet LLC. Good. If we search for ZoomGet LLC, it also finds nothing. But what else does Jungle Scout advise us? He says you can search for trademark if you write GloverWorks trademark there. It's like the name of this product is Glover Works. It seems to be sold by ZoomGet LLC, but nothing is in the supplier database. But when we wrote Glover Works trademark, we can use the websites to find the company that sells. And this company is called Amex Corporation. See? So he finds Amex Corporation, and if you put Amex Corporation, he finds this company, see? Amex Corp. is such an approach to finding suppliers. Again, if you want to trade electricity, you can write Apple Incorporated or some electronic stuff. And we will see all Apple suppliers, Apple Inc. And some suppliers make products for Apple, which is probably good because then you will see suitable suppliers because they make some products for a cool brand. You can work with it this way. Next, there is a search by supplier. If we find a product by the supplier itself, for example, you know the supplier's name, we can see which brands work with this supplier and look for more ideas for products to find. Or by ASIN. We take the ASIN of the product. You can try it, but it doesn't always find it here either. Click search. And by ASIN, we see the same supplier. Here again, it didn't find it. He gives us some hints, farther where this one, sometimes it will be found. Again, this is only for those products that enter America. Everything is limited here, but you can still find suppliers. Next, let's see the supplier tracker. We can group suppliers and monitor them. For example, suppliers for knives from India or suppliers for skateboard wheels from Taiwan. We group them and can track them. There is such an option. That was the supplier section. So you can search for people for your products. You can go to Alibaba, write the product name, and get suppliers. But again, it is possible that if you find a supplier in advance, your good competitor, you will already know whom to work with, who already makes quality products. For example, if you order a competitor's product, it's cool and good. For instance, you want to order knives. You ordered an excellent knife, you want to understand to where it's coming from. Searching by ASIN. You can try this article, how to find a supplier database. Perhaps you will find, and then you will be able to order high-quality knives from him too. Or you can search on Alibaba, find yourself a good factory, or through a person in China or some other country. It is called a sourcing agent. We're done here. The following section is keywords. We can search for keywords on Amazon for your products. You have found the product, now we need to look for keywords for it to raise his rank, so that he shows up in the right places. How to do it? You can search by keywords. If we click a keyword like kitchen knife, he will now give out all the keywords similar to this key, kitchen knife. I have a free video course for optimizing listing on Amazon. There I work with Helium 10, but for those who use Jungle Scout or want to use Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is cheaper than Helium 10. You can take the principles from this course. 
now it will appear here at the top and in the description. Here's my course. You can also write Helium 10 List and Optimization free full course on YouTube. There are already more than 2,000 views of this course. There are 13 lessons. The first lesson is introductory, but you will be able to walk through the entire course. It lasts for about two hours and take the principles from this course using the Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout gives approximately similar opportunities to search for keys. It just doesn't make sense to do a full course about the keyword selection right now because it will take another couple of hours. I hope you are still here with me. Please like the video. Thank you so much for watching. Ask questions in the comments. Subscribe for even longer such deep videos where I explain everything step by step. I hope you are not too bored. Let's go back. A link to this course is in the description. There are also links to all Jungle Scout discounts, annual plans, monthly, and so on. Here it will find the keywords related to the kitchen knife key. He found 4,952 similar keywords. Here you can see how many searches for this key in 30 days. You can see the key on Amazon. You can click search on Amazon, and it will find kitchen knife in the search engine. You can see how the trend is going over the last 30 days of this key and how the trend has been going for 90 days. How much is this 30-day broad search? Now, what is a broad? What is exact? Exact is if we write kitchen knife, we type kitchen knife into the search 33,000 times per month. It's approximately. A broad writes 231 thousands. What is broad? This is when this key is available but writes, for example, big kitchen knife sharp. This is already a broad key, there are even more such searches. But what does this give us? It just shows that there are many searches in this niche. People are interested in this product, there is significant demand. People need this product. Dominant categories kitchen and dining. Recommended promotions. How much advises daily promotions to get into the top three positions on Amazon? He suggests making 60 promotions in about 7 to 14 days to get into the top 3. But I'll tell you, because the numbers are not always correct here, after all, 60 promotions are hardly enough to get to the first page. I'm sorry, these are daytime promotions, everything is fine, I take back my words. Here are the daily promotions. You must promote 60 knives daily to get to this key stop. But you ask. Who will give out 60 promotions a day now? Therefore, this product is not super suitable for beginners because it is expensive. Almost 100 pieces will have to be promoted. Big brands or big uncles with big wallets can promote as much. But again, it depends on what kind of uncle or aunt you are. So see you for yourself. But this is how much it advises. Here you need 60 per day for 7 to 14 days to reach the top position. It is okay. Yes, this is still possible generally with the key kitchen knife. Also, here is the sponsored brand ad bit. What is a sponsored brand? If you write some key on Amazon, we will see brand advertising. See? Here is such a product. Different knives, although similar. I didn't even notice at first. This shows how much the bid is worth. How much will it cost one click? If I'll click on it now, Someone will get minus $3.98. This is not an exact figure, it depends on the keys. It depends where it appears on which page, there is much stuff there. This is the average value that it calculates. He says it's about $3.98 to get your put here. But again, this is not all accurate. These are its approximate values according to algorithms. The next one is the PPC bit. How much will it cost to advertise on this word? For example, this is a regular advertisement. Sponsored is an advertisement. And this is a regular one, not sponsored. It says to show up in sponsored results, how much does a click in this niche cost approximately? $1.64. Next, there is such information here. There are keys. You can again remove all these things, leave something, but if we need to watch only the trend for 30 days, and only the broad trend for 30 days of keys, then we can only leave them. There are also filters. You can filter these keywords. For example, we want to see keywords where at least four words are in them. Word count. For example, we will write apply and 
we will see keywords related to kitchen knife, which have at least four words inside. Cochilos de chef profesional. These are professional knives for the chef. In Spanish, forged in fire knives for words. At least there are long keywords. This way we will be able to find keywords for our products. I advise you to watch this free course. There is no water there, I want to hope, and really, it will show you how to type good keywords and with an approach that really helps to choose out the keywords for your products as well as possible. These filters also have categories. We can choose a specific category if you found kitchen knife in different categories. Or we want a minimum of keywords that have 3,000 searches there per month. Before it was 4,200 keys, and now there are 71 keys left. 71 keywords that have at least 3,000 searches per month. These are the most important keywords associated with this product. This way you can search for keywords. You can search by keyword, or you can take the ASIN of the product. For example, you need Demarco. Take its ASIN and paste it into the keyword scout. See how ASIN is inserted. And make a search. What does it mean? Instead of taking the keyword kitchen knife, I inserted the product here. Now Jungle Scout will pull out of this product all the keywords for which this product is ranked. And thus you can take several competitors or pump out top keywords from them. Or for example, take 10 top competitors. What does a top competitor mean? That means they know what they are doing. Let me make refresh while I tell you further. And from the top competitors, we will pump the words because, well, they're at the top. They know what they are doing. Am I right? In that course, everything is more straightforward. That's it, we got it. Here 2,258 words were pumped out by which this key is ranked. What does this give us? Now we understand that when we wrote Kitchen Knife, we were shown all the keys associated with Kitchen Knife. There may be unnecessary keywords there, but since this product, it already sells well. It is in this category. It is such a specific knife. For example, we are interested in such knives. It's not a cleaver. This is an ordinary knife. It probably won't rank on the butcher knife key, although maybe yes. It ranks according to the right relevant keys and sells well. We pulled all the keywords out of it. Now we can take several competitors and also pull out all these keywords from them. Approximately, there will be a similar output here. There are different filters here too. You can add several people, you can add several competitors. Take this competitor, take it, and, I don't know, any other similar one there. For example, this Santoko. A similar knife. Let's take it and add it here too. We can take another knife, and so we will see all the similar knives that we have selected in our key search results. And so, we will be able to search for keywords for the product. I'll repeat it again. I really have a good free course, which I left you in the description for selecting keys and generally building a listing on Amazon. So we have different competitors here. We see what keywords they have in the listing. You can compare them with other knives here. And from here, you can pump out these keywords. There are different filters for them. You can remove something here, add it, as we have done before, and thus pump out keywords. Cool thing. Keywords. Because really, we can find the right keywords for ourselves and this is done through Jungle Scout or through Helium 10. At the moment I use Helium 10 more, but since the guys asked me to show what a Jungle Scout is, I think it's also worth showing. When I started trading on Amazon, I started with Jungle Scout and used it a lot. Therefore, there is some knowledge related to this program. What else do we have here? This way you can select these keywords and continue to work with them. You can take and add these keywords that we have left in the list. We have a keyword list. Let's make them smaller. Let's take the keywords that at least have 3000 searches per month in them. And now we will drag them further and work with them. I'll show you what else you can do in Jungle Scout with keys. Now we click on apply. The necessary keywords should catch up, which have at least 3000 searches in them. These keywords remained. What are we doing? Click here. Do an add keyword to list. We will make a key list. Let's call it phrases for knife. And we will do create and add. Ready. 
We made this key list. Let's move on. It was a keyword scout. Now there's a keywords list. And we have phrases for knife here. Here we can keep track of these keywords. And we can also use them further in order to build a listing. This is our next goal. In the keyword list here, we just collect the lists of our keywords. For example, we can collect a list of Spanish keywords for a knife. Here we have, for example, cuchillos de profesional, cuchillos de cochina. We can collect mistakes. Sometimes people write with mistakes, kitchen knife. We can collect long phrases, short ones. Here we will collect them into lists so that it is more convenient to work with them. Go into the list and builder. This is the listing construction. What is a list and builder? Here we can build a listing. How does it work? Click on Get Started. You can download the listing from Amazon. If you want to pump out some ready made listing and work with it, even improve your listing, you can add a scene here and pump out a listing. But you can make a draft listing. This is to create a listing from scratch. How is this done? Click on Next Step, and here we have the second step. It tells us to pump out some kind of keywords list. We have ready made keywords phrases for the knife. I'm clicking here. Next, we click Apply. Or you can add keywords here. You can add some more keywords right from here. We already have the prepared ones. Again, I haven't checked them now. It's all done quickly to show how everything works. What do we see here? Different keywords. A selection of keys that we have previously selected here. There are phrases. There are ordinary keywords. Here we can simply remove unnecessary things through this processor. For example, we can leave phrases so that they remain the same as they are. But sometimes we can remove phrases. What does it mean? For example, the word kitchen is repeated many times in our country. Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. We can remove duplicates of this word. Click Process. I made 27 words and 165 characters out of 61 words and 384 characters. He removed what is repeated and, of course, he didn't leave the phrase here. Let's do something different. Let's make mountain phrases. Nothing really changes. We'll have the same phrases that are here. But if we prepare phrases in advance, we will have a large number of keywords. Knife for kitchen, kitchen knife, knife's kitchen, just words. Kitchen will be repeated. And we can remove them just to choose from all the keys that we have collected the keywords we need, which we will use in our listing. There are also all sorts of things like convert to lowercase, turn large letters into small ones, protect numbers, Sometimes there are all sorts of sizes, sometimes we want to keep it, sometimes we can remove it. It will just help us to process a large list of keywords, because it will usually be large, and we need to leave the keywords out of it. Let's just leave it as it is for the moment. Let's leave all the phrases and keywords. Let's do apply and next. What happens next? We have all these keywords in our listing. We have 26 phrases and some keywords. Two keys, knives and knives. And phrases. What is it? What is here? We see the skeleton of our listing on Amazon. We see the title, bullet points, features, one, two, three, four, five, product description, and backend search. These are keywords that our customer doesn't see, but only we see. For example, what does it mean? We have phrases that we have prepared. If we do all this correctly and competently, then there will be only the most relevant keywords and phrases for our product. We do this by searching for the right phrases and keys. I repeat, it's all in this free course. There is really nothing to sell me to you. The course is free on YouTube, so I advise you to watch it. It will be in the description. Let's also show you how Jungle Scout works. Here we have the phrases Chef Knife. Let's put it in the title, Chef Knife. We put it in here. He used one phrase, see? It says used phrases. We used Chef Knife. There is a kitchen knife, for example. Kitchen knife, chef knife. We used these phrases. What will be used? It will be written as used. What do I advise you? If you find the most relevant phrases and keywords for your product, just paste them all into the listing. Don't write kitchen, knife, knife, big knife. Then it will be unreadable. The listing should be readable and contain keywords. For example, professional chef knife for all your kitchen needs. For example, this is a title. We have both professional and chef knife and kitchen needs is already more selling key. So you need to fill it all out. To do this, 
we have bullet points, where he advises 500 characters. I personally do less. I do 100 usually in each, 100, 200 maximum, usually 100. Title up to 200 characters. These are the 2000 description and the 250 backend. We are filling all this. Click in preview and we will have a finished listing. Then you can copy it all to Amazon and on Amazon already paste it into the listing itself and the listing will already work. It was a listing builder, a cool tool, and it is convenient to work with it for those who want to build listings inside a program. The next one is the rank tracker. What is the rank tracker? We can track products rankings. I have already prepared a knife here. We are tracking 86 keys. From these keys, we will see that the top 10 keys are in the top 10 organic output. For example, positions on Amazon. Again, we go to Amazon, the kitchen knife key. There are positions here, four sponsored and went organic positions. It has 33 keys in the top 10 organic output. Top 50, it has 56 keys, its reviews, its quality of listings, its bestseller rank, its date. Why do we need this? Here we can just keep track of the product keys. Why is this necessary? We can see how the product works, how its sales are going, how its keywords work. Here he breaks them down by different keys and so on by positions. We see here from 0 to 36 and how these keywords work. For example, we can watch Chef Knife. The position was on December 28. It was in 11th place, then on the 2nd, on the 9th, and so on and so forth. You can see it in 60 days. There are different timeframes. There are also organic outputs and sponsored. For example, according to advertising, it is ranked by the key Chef Knife in the 5th position, in the 12th. People there put different bits on advertising, and each in his own way offers money per click. For example, someone started offering more, its rank dropped and so on and so forth. Maybe it looks like a little Chinese, but everything is really simple. We point here at the key Chef Knife, for example, on the left in the position column, below is the date. Such and such a date, such and such a key, was in such and such a place. You can choose different keywords too. Then there is one output here. Here we see the key, how many searches per month, and what place it has and on which page. It has now started from the first place. For example, the key Kitchen Gifts has the 8th place on the first page. Partial. Some part is in the listing, but not the full key. Cutting Knife does not have the full key, but it has Cutting and Knife. Accordingly, it has Partial. And Kitchen Knife is marked with a green tick, so that's how this key is available in the listing. Then how easy it is to rank by this key? It's very hard to rank the word kitchen knife, it's true, but professional kitchen knife is easy. How to say it is easy? Again, this is how Jungle Scout displays. Easy or hard? In any case, it is necessary to check everything, see what kind of competition, and so on. The PPC bid is here, and when was the last time the position was checked? This way you can monitor the products. Take a few competitors and some keywords, that are important to you and track them. This is a cool thing. You can also track your products here. If you have a product and you track its rank, you will not check every day, go to Amazon putting keys there and so on. It will take you a lot of time and with Rank Tracker you can do it faster. It was a Rank Tracker tool. The next tool is Promotions. Allows you to distribute using Jungle Scout. There is a program called Jump Sand. You put up your product and give a big discount on it, and it appears on a website called Jump Sand. This is a website associated with Jungle Scout. Perhaps now they are still working with some websites and people can buy there at a discount. I don't usually use this space. I distribute products through ManyChat via Facebook, but still you can initially distribute your product somewhere else to show some other people, so that they just start buying it and catching up with sales. That is to rock the product. You can also get feedback from this. But when the discount is too big, if you get a review, then it will probably not be verified. Not verified is not a verified review. If there is too much discount on Amazon, then the review is not verified. It will still count as a review, but its weight will be weaker. But still it will count as a review. In this way you can improve the ranks. These are promotions. There are different websites for this. Rebatekey.com, there is rebatjet.com, 
These are websites where you can distribute the product either at a big discount or for free at all, and in order to pump ranks on Amazon. There is such an approach for promotion. I use it too, there are people who don't use it or are against giveaways, but it's up to everyone to decide in their own way. Then, review automation. You can configure Jungle Scout to order reviews automatically. You can make it so that a review will be ordered for some time, every day from your sales. It's a cool thing because it will help you get reviews. This feature is also in Seller Rise. It is also in the Seller Tools, in Quantify Ninja, in different programs. But it also appeared in Jungle Scout. You can do automation. Next, there is Sales Analytics. We have a profit overview. Here you can calculate how much you earn. You insert the price of your product, and Jungle Scout will sort you out and show you how much you make in net profit in money. You will have all your costs clearly displayed. Let me turn it on for you quickly. Here we have Lenny from Jungle Scout, and he shows how to use it. It's not that hard. You simply insert the desired date here in the program, and here you will also see a lot of different information about how many sales you have, how your profile works in general whether you make money, and whether you go to minus or plus. Amazon also has this. It's just that uh, here it will be much deeper and more clear. This is called Profit Overview. Next, there is a P&L statement. This is a profit and loss statement. Shows how much you have earned, how much you have lost. It's a convenient thing. Because it's hard to calculate profits on Amazon itself without additional software. Someone calculates in Excel. Seller board in Helium 10, there are profits. You can also add transaction. If you spend on a photographer, for example, or you pay $500 to an Instagram expert per month, you also insert everything, and as a result, in the PL statement, you will have how much you earn and how much you lose. The next section is manage products. This is the inventory manager. There are product settings and product costs. This tool will help you to watch when to order inventory. What does it mean? You will order stock on Amazon of different products. You will order knives, for example, and you will sell them. This program will show you when to order a product. For example, here is the product overstock. Overstock means that you have too much of this product on Amazon. You do not need to order. And if you need to order, for example, there is Jungle Sticks. On December 31st, you need to order. How much to order? How much will the order cost? How long do the chain of ordering the product and its sales go on in general? With this tool, you can improve your inventory planning. So that was Inventory Manager. Next, we have Product Settings. Here we can simply insert alerts, reminders about products. If something has changed on your listing, someone came to your listing, the price has changed, and you will have alerts. Also, such a convenient tool. Here you just work with products inside Jungle Scout. Not on Amazon itself, but inside Jungle Scout. It's more convenient than on Amazon. Product costs. How much do your product costs? There is a historical product cost that will allow you to see the price of products at a time. It will also help you with your finances. Jungle Scout also has an academy. Amazon Training. If you use Jungle Scout, and you take a 50% discount. It will be in the description for you. You can get Jungle Scout for $34 for the first month. Then $69 will be. But you will be able to work with almost all tools in Jungle Scout. Most of the basic things for beginners are definitely enough. In Sites, you will have an academy. How to get started selling, product research, sourcing the product, how to ship product, how to make a listing, how to launch, how to optimize the listing. It's like a mini course. Although Jungle Scout has a more advanced course called Freedom Builder. It is expensive, $1,000. If anyone is interested, I will also leave a link in the description. But I believe that even with the academy, you can learn basics and everything will be fine. There will also be a tutorial on how to use these tools, how to use suppliers, keywords, and so on. And there will be different webinars. Jungle Scout has live webinars. Every week, if I'm not mistaken, there is a webinar. There are several tutorials in German, 
and Chinese. So the guys, so to speak, Chinese and German. Those who have friends in Jungle Scouts also have training in these languages. This is an academy. Let's use the Chrome extension now. To do this, we will have to go to Amazon and start using it. Let's start with the first extension. This is such a thing here in the search. We typed kitchen knife into the search, and there is such information here. What kind of information is this? This information will give you a basic understanding of what is happening with this niche in general. For example, we typed in a key. If you have a Chrome extension for Helium 10, for example, then there is also such information. What will it give you? There is someone here who is a seller of FBA. How many sellers are on the listing? A sin. How many sales per month? A rank in what category? Which subcategory is it in? A brand? How much sales per day? Some kind of monthly revenue? When it appeared on Amazon and how much it makes net? How much does Amazon charge for the sales? This is very basic information. You can also find keywords. You can add this product to the tracker right from here. Well, you can customize the type of this information. It shows almost all information here. You can add a couple more things. Almost everything has already been added. This is basic information for a search engine. What else can I do next? You can click on the Chrome extension on the top. There will be more information here. What is displayed here? I clicked on Chrome extension and it has now downloaded all the products from the entire Amazon search page here. It starts from the first to the very bottom until the 56. What do we see here? We see the position. You can add a product to the tracker, view its keywords, find the supplier for a product right away, right from here, its picture, its number of reviews, its price, its title. You can copy the ASIN for your needs of any kind, the brand, the name, the product's price on Amazon, and how much money it makes per month. You can click on some things. You can look at the price and see the price on different dates. Since May of 29th, you can see the price. We see that the price of this product has always been about $29 on average, although in 2020 it raised it by 39 and still sells it at 39. If we see that the price is falling or rising, we can understand that if the price of many products falls in a niche, so this will be not good. Next, a monthly number of sales. How much per month was sold? As we can see, for example, December the 9th sold about 12,000 knives. And December 20th already sold 14. We see that there is a rise in sales. This is good because more and more sales are going on. Then how much it does do on the day of sales? For 30 days, for 90 days? For example, for 90 on December 16 was made 1,200 sales and made some good money. Next, the daily sales. Now it sells about 150 pieces daily, which is also not bad. Monthly revenue, 218,000. When it appeared on Amazon for the first time, how much it will do net, and again it brings us back to this calculator. If we see that the knife costs $5, we do calculate and get $21 net. 423 return on investment. I also advise you to look hard at this parameter. Go to Google, look for return on investment, and it will help you work on Amazon because the higher this parameter, the easier it will be for you to earn on Amazon. For example, a 100% return on investment is, for example, you invested a dollar and got a dollar back clean. For example, you already have two dollars. Now invest two dollars and you will already have four dollars. Honestly, this is usually a big problem for me because the return on investment falls for various reasons. More money is invested in promotion, in something else, and it is harder to work. But you need to try to raise this parameter. Next is the number of reviews. Product ratings, fees, how much does Amazon takes from each sale. A rank, bestseller rank. Here too, you can click and see by rank how it is worked over the past year or so. This is December. We have the most sales in December. This is Christmas. And the category. These are the basic things for all these products. 
You can also see the average number of sales, the average BSR, average price, average number of reviews. We have opportunity score here. The lower, the harder. There is a very large demand here. People need this product, but there is a big competition. Here people have 1000 reviews. I would not recommend entering this category. When there is a simpler category, the average reviews will be 50, for example, and the average number of sales will be 500, for example. Then it will be much easier for you as a beginner to work. Helium 10 has such a free add-in, you can also use it. Here it is paid. Then let's go on. There is one more thing that needs to be shown to you. It's to come here. And there is such little information inside the listing too. Now it will load. It's like monthly sales. Again, we see that sales are going up. Daily sales. Price. And rank. Here we see the listing quality score. How much per month it sells. How much net it has. How much fees Amazon takes. When the product appeared. In which category it is. Its size and weight. And in which subcategory it is. Kitchen and dining. Go to meat cleavers. We ran through Jungle Scout with you. Let me remind you that there will be Jungle Scout discounts in the description. There is a 50% discount for the first months. There is a discount for three months. There are annual discounts. There is a $400 annual discount. 333 is for 9 months. For 3 months and so on. There is a pricing page. It will also be in the description. Where you will see what exactly you will receive from each plan. Today we talked about the suit plan. There is a professional one. It is more for professional sellers and so on. I think that with the suit plan you can still work well. And as you can see, if you take it without discounts, then you will have a suit for $69 a month. And with a discount, you can get it for 34. Well, or take an annual one for half the price. Discounts in the description. As I said before, if you want to support me, use my links and you will get a discount. So you can support my free content here, for which I am grateful to you. Also ask questions if something is interesting. Subscribe to the channel.